operator remaining. What's up guys, today we're doing an operator guide on how to play as Scopos in Rainbow Six Siege. Coming to Operation Twin Shells. Talking all about Scopos, how to effectively use your robots and how to win and rank up while playing as Scopos. First, let's get to the loadout. Here we have a pretty simple loadout, honestly not much customization here, but you're getting a new assault rifle, the PCX-33, which is super good, firepower decent, fire rate decent, 30 mag capacity, this is a defender, uh, AR so it's pretty pretty nice I uh, will show that later in the video uh, decent pistol 30, 13 shots 51 damage and then you have a choice between impacts and prox alarms impacts most of the time I'll be running impacts for like you know more aggression more lines of sight because you aren't going to be able to make rotates or anything like that so impacts is what I'm going to be using most of the time prox alarms you can use it occasionally if there's like no like no barb or anything if you want to still play Scopos and you need something Prox alarm will be fine, but most time I will run impacts. All right, now we're playing at Scopos. You spawn in as one of the active shells. Here's the unactive one that's just going to be wherever, and here's how it works. So I swap to my ability, and you can see right there, a transfer, boom. And that's gonna happen anywhere on the map. Not a problem. So you transfer to wherever your shell is at, and you're gonna go. So one thing to be careful of, you can see on the left hand side, kind of like by my forehead right here, if you are able to swap to the shield, it'll tell you if you are able to swap or not. So something to keep in mind, like I won't be able to swap here in active shell position. It has to be a spot where I can actually place the shell. So the way that this shield works, it's a deployable shield, kind of like mounting with like, you know, the around the sides. And then obviously, Bulletproof glass. Your shell will get indicators that it is currently being shot at somewhat. So you will be able to tell if enemies are somewhat nearby your shell. Uh, and you know, there's no way to destroy this shield other than with an explosive or shooting, you know, one of the robots in the head. So one way I like to play a Scopos is playing kind of aggressive and then maybe like, you know, like, oh, I need to swap somewhere else. I'll swap and go back to site like that after take, like getting out of a firefight. And it's still hard to kill the shell because an attacker will have to like come around and like, you know, shoot in the side of the head. It's not super easy to destroy the shell unless you use like an impact. If you use like an impact, explosive, whatever, like an attacker explosive that will kill an, you know, kill an enemy, it will, you know, kill the shell instantly. But then it doesn't have the shield which is really easy to just shoot and destroy. And the shield will not come back. Shield will still be on that one. And again, you can see that I only have one impact. They share utility. So shield is up. If I want to use the shield again, I'm still not going to have a shield. Well, let's get to some gameplay playing as Scopos. I'm really showing why Scopos is good. Playing her like a Mira, like a pseudo Mira or an aggressive High, like high aggressive, like roamer flank type character is extremely strong in Siege. But first let's talk about defender and attacker interactions with Scopos. So defender interactions, smoke and fender will not affect Scopos whatsoever because the robots don't breathe. So, you know, nothing's going to happen from that standpoint from a defender. And then Doc, Rook, anything that influences health, you will not be able to heal one of the robots. The robots have their individual health pool. Let's say you get taken out of 20 health, you swap to the other robot that has full health. Now you have full health. The other robot does not get healed and still has 20 health behind that shield. But you know, it's, think of it kind of like you almost have double health. So other operators won't be able to heal you. Quite a few attacker interactions though. Thatcher EMPs or EMP impacts will disable the inactive shell, causing you not to be able to swap to it. But if you do get EMP'd as the active shell, won't turn the robot off, but you won't be able to swap as well. So EMPs definitely uh, put a wrench in the transfer 
part of Scopus' ability. Bravo will be able to overheat the inactive shell, but Scopus will get a notification that, you know, that is happening and you can swap back and turn that off fairly easily. So Bravo, you have Flores, I think is the strongest counter to Scopus because I drive my drone up to the shield, blow it up and it kills the op and the shield and it destroys the inactive shell completely. I think that's the, probably the best counter to Scopus' shells because now you're just, you know, a robot running around. You can't swap and you, you have a decent gun still, but you know. IQ, we'll be able to see the inactive shell through the walls and everything, but not the active one. And the way that Jackal and Damos works is a little weird. Jackal's only tracking, so they function as two separate operators, right? Both robots. So if this one's running around and it has feet and Jackal tracks this one, but you swap, it's going to track the one that's inactive. It's not going to track you no matter where you're at actively. You know, you are tracking the one that it was following in the first place. Same with Deimos. If you're tracking one, you swap, it's still going to keep putting marks on the one that was, you know, you swapped from, not the one that you're currently swapping to. Now let's get to some gameplay. Now let's get to some Scopos gameplay. In 1v3, we find one. I think we down the guy on the door there. We swing out. This gun is nuts. Super good gun. So one thing to be careful of is Scopos. He's alive right now. Is it 2v4? He tries to transfer back because he sees someone planting. And he gets knifed. And now he's dead. He cannot swap back to the other one because now he the active one got destroyed. So he's dead. Gotta be careful. So here, this is how I plan on using Scopus most of the time, is playing off of the shield. I mean, it is extremely hard to counter that if you are not droning. Definitely a thorn in the side of the TDM meta for some people. So here, again, I go out aggressive, risking my life. We find one, and instead of staying where I know they know where I'm at, I swap. Now I'm playing bottom main. So here's what a doe call looks like. A little, Definitely a little annoying. A little in your face. But other than that, it works the same way. Nothing crazy. Scopos is such a good operator to have in a clutch because the gun is so damn good. Another round of Scopos. Blitz is chasing my teammate around. We take him out. I'm not sure what that guy was doing. Crazy man. Come up to my shield. I see Doc fighting the knock. So I place my shield down in the middle of the lobby so you can use it. He's not using it, so I just come forward, hit that with an impact, and we find the man. Look how stable that gun is though, sheesh. Coming down, 2v2, two two now a 2v2. I find one of my own, taking him down, pushing into sight. I see him outside the window. I empty my mag, and instead of reloading, I just swap to my other robot who's upstairs. I can just throw an impact at the floor, and then now I have the angle for that hop in. Good to go. I walk down and take out the last man. So here, I mean, it's pretty obvious to tell when someone is behind that shield. You can see his head. You just kind of have to focus on it. It's clearly behind the shield there. I see him. He tries to get me. You need to be careful when your escobos is like there. He's dead. He can't, you know, use the active, the inactive shell anymore. He can't use it as a camera, which is nice, but. I mean, I can just counter that like that easily. Or I could play behind the shield. But in this situation, I didn't need to play behind the shield. Going on, we'll show you guys some situations where I do. One of my favorite things to do, I call this the leapfrog strat. It tells you when I can. You play behind the shield, you take one out, you push forward, especially when they throw off smokes like that. And then I move my shield forward. Let's be careful. That's how fast the shield activates. So you are kind of exposed when you are doing that out of the open. So do be careful of that. But he hops in to a shield that he didn't know about previously. And again, like I said, you cannot pick up work armor. You can't do anything to get more health in the game. So kind of out of luck there. <laughs> I can't pick up rook armor, bro. <laughs> so counter for Scopos against, you know, attackers. One grenade on the shield, the active shell is gone. Like it's... It's just gone. But I'm still alive with full health. The round's definitely not over. So one crouch walks over, takes them down. I hop out, we take out another one. 
Guy runs in. I try to find him. We find him. So don't be too concerned if your shell does go down, your inactive one at least, because the round's still not over. You're still playing in the game and they have to use util and waste their time dealing with your inactive shell. And you know, if you're playing right, playing off the shell potentially, you can maybe get a kill and getting a kill is worth the inactive shell because it's a f still a 5v4. I love being able to place them like mobile mirror windows. I mean, look at this angle here, bro. It's, it, it's literally insane. But we don't play off of it. They're going through Lodgy. We go up top. We find one, we find two. I go forward. I don't even reload. I just swap. Put my shield up there. But be careful when you swap because you don't know where the enemy is at now. Make sure you are aware. So here, I'm changed my shield location around to watch the main staircase. They do walk down secret though. Destroyed my inactive shell, but they have no idea that I'm here now. And they both go down. Again. Sledge, he does have a grenade. He can't just throw a grenade to destroy my shell, but in that one second time span that goes through your brain, I need to throw a grenade to destroy this. I mean, you're gone. You're, you're dead. You, if you're not droning, planning ahead, Scopus is going to capitalize on you. Oh! I see someone peeking out. Take him out too. Wait, I Move my shield to the 90 hallway. TK Darren because, you know, he needs to get TK'd. Let's be real. <laughs> the impact for the hop outs and the aggression. Easy cash. So there's Ash. He shoots an Ash Breach at my drone. It doesn't destroy my drone. It does destroy the shield. So it is able to get shot now. He kills it. I swing out and get lit up to three health. But we do take him down. Blitz. High advantage. I have the high ground. And he's a doc trolling me, trying to heal my little three health right there. It doesn't work, bro. It doesn't work. It doesn't work, doc. Another round. Got a little lucky on that one. Move my shell. To play off of it. It does get Zofia charged. I push forward looking for the Zof because I know she's over here now. She's outside the door. And we find him. So again, again, it's knock. <laughs> Peeking up to my shell. Not sure that I'm there. You know, no camera, no drone. They're just trying to crouch walk in. And, uh, you know, there's not much you can do in that kind of a situation. Because you don't know how I'm going to swing it. And he goes down. For that reason, specifically. So here we have a Finca about to peek out. And right now I'm using the camera on the shell. And I'm on the pillar to the right, so I swing out aggressively. I miss the shots a little bit. He throws a grenade to try to destroy the shell. And, you know, he's lit up like crazy. So I just power him. So you see a guy on my top right. I see him. I can't react. So I get behind the glass and then peek out. <laughs> this part of the shield is so damn strong. It is the strongest thing that Scopos has in her arsenal. That little bulletproof glass i swear to god walks in i mean again the bulletproof glass so here be careful when you swap i hear him swap it wasn't an active one so i was ignoring it but then he swapped to it i'm like oh there's there he is now but he doesn't give himself any time to really reposition or really be able to do anything so we do take him down probably not the best place to i go look for the last enemy I played behind the shield for a minute or so, just to like figure out what's going on down here. And I hear vigil in game, so I destroy the shell, so I'm not going to get marked while I'm walking forward. But I push forward, and we find the vigil. Make sure you are careful about where you leave your active shells, or your inactive shells, because uh, we're gonna show you guys in a second. And I call this the whack-a-mole strat. I'm gonna need 2v4. Deimos starts to walk in, he's dead. Now I'm in a 1v3, trying to fight somebody. They know I'm at Fountain, so anyone that's going to push me is going to push me. So I swap back to my Armory shell to try to catch someone off guard that might be flanking, and it was a knock again. Now it's a 1v2. They're not exactly sure where I'm at. So I place my shell down, swap between the angles. I miss an opportunity to kill a Doak there. Now he's shooting at me, he knows I'm in Fountain, so I swap back to the Archives 1. Peeking out, I'm getting Doe called. I 
Try to hold the angle here for the crossover. I missed them come, like, crawling over. They destroyed my idle shell. And now I have two people, I mean crosshair placement. I know they're there because they just destroyed my shell, which means that they have to be behind it because there was no explosives that went off. The whack-a-mole strat. <laughs> be very careful where you place your shells. No rotate, I find an active shell. So I use it as cover. I place the fuser down. Doc tries to walk in, I'm behind the shell, I take him out. Guy swaps over, you can see at the top, it is a 3v3 right now. I wait for him to fool the transition. We knife him. Now he's dead. Now his inactive shell cannot be activated. He transferred over without checking his surroundings and goes down. So be extremely careful when you leave your inactive shell on site. They take sight. They may leave your shell up to try to get you to go to it so you can be basically become a free kill like that. Gotta be careful with scope of bozo. Here, Twister runs in, I'm behind my shield. Watching the angles. We find the Doke running down. Find another one. I leave my shell there as I run down through armory. Try to take some shots. I swap back, try to catch him off guard. Basically trying to pretend like I'm in two places at the same time. We find the Finca. We're just walking around with our gun up. We find him. I swap back, looking around the site. I couldn't find him, so I go back to this drone because I think that he's on site somewhere. And he destroys my shell, which means that he physically has to be near it. You walk through, and this gun, that's all she wrote. <laughs> that's all she wrote. All right, guys, and that's it on how to play as Scopos. Biggest things to remember, if, you're at, if your inactive shell dies, the round's not over. It, you just lost a little bit of utility, not a problem. But don't, you know, feel like you can just run around as an active robot and, you know, I can just transfer back over. No, you, you, will, you will die if you do that. The active one is your lifeline. If that one goes down before you swap, you are gone for the rest of the round. But that being said, the inactive shell is still a really good utility. It has a deployable shield, a bulletproof camera, and I mean, it has OSA shield components with the glass. So think of it as a mobile mirror that you can place literally anywhere. It is extremely strong to play behind for any defenders and honestly is a lot better than any other deployable shield in the game. So just for that standpoint alone, really good. The ability to swap between different locations can be extremely strong in the right hands. You can hide your shell upstairs somewhere and like swap to it up for a flank if you want. I mean, if they find it and destroy it, then you, you know, it's obviously dead, but you know, you're still in the round, you're not dead. That just potential flank is gone. So, shrug. And uh, that's it. Scopo brings a lot of different types of features to Siege, and it'll be interesting to see how everyone plays the Scopos. How do you guys plan on playing a Scopos? Personally, I'm placing my shield, like a deployable shield, somewhere near the site, so I can, you know, give my teammates that advantage, like a kind of like a Mira. And while I kind of run around as Scopos and just kind of go nuts. And then, you know, if I feel like I need to come back and swap out, like I can go on an aggressive roam and like, if I feel like I'm taking too much pressure and I can't get back, I can just swap to the one that was on site. And now I'm back on site, not a problem. All right guys, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like down below for more. Let me know what opera you guys want to see next time. Peace out.